Hi friends, Tyler here. I am the optician at SportRx that you wanna hear from and talk to because I have what you wanna know about the best sunglass frames for a high prescription. And uh, I can talk about it pretty well because I have a high prescription myself. And uh, just so you know, if you like this, comment, this kind of content and uh, you think it's valuable, if you subscribe, you're gonna get a lot more of that just going directly to you every time we drop a new video. We'd love to see you and have you join us. Uh, comment down below if I don't cover enough information here, we will get back to you. If you have any questions, obviously you can call us. We have a lot of opticians, maybe even me, that you can get if you give us a call. But let's just jump into this. So I wanna go over an overview of things that you wanna look for in a frame that will uh, most likely well accommodate even the strongest prescriptions. Eh, the strongest, that is a really wide spectrum, but up to a pretty reasonably strong prescription. Things that you wanna look for is a flat frame. You really do have to, especially with these stronger prescriptions, avoid that more wrapped frame. I know that sucks for a lot of you because you really want that, that wrapped frame, but even if your prescription will work in that more wrapped frame, there's gonna be so much distortion, you're gonna hate it. You're not gonna be able to see through it. It's gonna give you what a lot of people refer to as a fishbowl effect, just weird optical things. You wanna avoid it. So stick with the flatter frame. Uh, most likely, almost always a fuller frame. If we're talking sunglasses, that means a frame around the entire lens. Uh, that is gonna be something else that'll make it easier to deal with a stronger prescription in these frames. Size plays a role as well. So keep that in mind. The larger the lens, the more potential there is for distortion because the larger the lens, the thicker the lens is going to be. So for some people, uh, and this goes into uh, shape as well, you can take into account uh, something like this that's a little more squared versus something that's a little more round. The round lenses tend to be overall smaller. So usually the thickness isn't as big of an issue and the distortion isn't as big of an issue. Uh, but the, the smaller the lens, the thicker or the thinner it has the potential to be. And a quick little optical side note, if you have a minus prescription, it's the thinnest point at the center of the lens, the optical center, which should be going right in front of your pupil. If you're a plus prescription, it's the thickest at the center. Both of those things play into the overall thickness uh, on the edge, noting that with a plus prescription, really thick at the center, it gets thinner as you get away from the center of the lens, but it needs a, a certain amount of thickness out at the, the outer edge so in some cases, the larger the frame is, the thicker it'll be even out here because they have to give you extra center thickness in order to accommodate the needed thickness on the outer edge. Let's move on. Uh, a more standard uh, bezel in the frame is really important as well. What they call a V bevel or a hide a bevel when they're doing the prescription lens, that's pretty important too. If you get these really weird like inline or grooved bevels, they can be more problematic for stronger prescriptions. Uh, if you're looking for a good sport frame and you have a strong prescription, there are some other things you wanna look for. A lot of grip, ideally some kind of a nose pad. If it's adjustable, that's an added plus, but definitely grip on the temples, definitely grip on the nose. Uh, that's gonna help you quite a bit. Um, also, in general, plastic frames tend to be a little better for stronger prescriptions. Uh, one thing that can help outside of them being able to be a little more creative and uh, them being the lab, uh, being a little more creative in how they, uh, they work with the bevel that goes into the frame. Uh, also, beyond that, you generally have a little more thickness and that'll help to hide some of that added edge thickness that you would get with a stronger prescription. Okay, let's jump into the frames. So now that we've talked about the things you wanna look for, we're gonna talk first about the Rudy Project Horus. We really like this frame. This has been a pretty key frame for me as an optician when people call with stronger prescriptions. Really looking for a good sport frame because this has some really unique features. I don't wanna go too in depth. This isn't a, a frame review, but things to note, this has an interchangeable lens functionality, which is pretty awesome. You can get multiple uh, lens features, you, know, you can clear set, a dark set, and uh, with the, an extra set of what they call the bezels, the part that surrounds the, the lens, the little, little mini frame, and then that can be interchanged, swapped out, which is really nice. This has rubber on the temple. It has actually adjustable nose pads. It's the only one on this table that has adjustable nose pads. 
It's a little tougher to find adjustable nose pads on frames, but this does have that, so that's pretty cool. If you have a non-standard nose bridge, it's nice, a little more customized, uh, customizability, let's say that. Okay, now we have the Smith. This is an Outlier 2. I really like this frame. Good uh, kind of hybrid style, as I call it. It's a little more uh, kind of sport-centric, but also nice for all-around everyday use. You have a little bit of grip on the temple, and you have a little embedded nose piece or, or grip on the nose right there, which is really nice. Next, we have a Ray-Ban Classic. This is the RB2132, otherwise known as the New Wayfarer. We've done quite a few different videos on this frame and differentiating the New Wayfarer from the old Wayfair and the original Wayfair and so many Wayfairs. You can check those out for sure. This is a good all around pair, uh, obviously plastic, it's flat, not any grip on this guy, but a good classic and one that uh, definitely fits the bill for stronger prescriptions. Next up, we have another Ray-Ban. This is the Daddy-O. Oh boy, has this gotten us out of some really tricky, hairy situations. This can accommodate a really wide range of prescriptions, probably more than any other frame on this table. And I think it has to do with both the shape and the size of the lens. Obviously the, fa the fact that it is flatter, uh, but a thing to note, this doesn't have any grip. It does have a nice little textured bit on the, the temple so that it'll help a little bit extra with grip, but no uh, rubber on that guy. Next up, we have the Oakley Main Link, another really good hybrid style, good for sport, good for everyday. Grip on the temple, grip on the nose, uh, really good frame. It's gonna work for stronger prescriptions for sure. Next up is the Oakley Latch. This, uh, again, one of the ones that doesn't have as much grip, kind of a cool functionality with the latch. We have videos on this, if you wanna look into that, definitely check that out, a little uh, latch, whatever. You can check the video out. No grip on this guy, like I said, but it is a good, more of a round shape, so especially good for stronger prescriptions because you're gonna uh, save on a lot of that additional edge thickness. Next up, a frame that's pretty close to my heart. I really like this guy, the 100% centric. Really good, again, another hybrid style. A lot of grip on the temple, on the inside, on the nose, everything you need. And this actually has a cool little added uh, uh, feature, a little extra plastic right here on the outer edge because the frame is flatter. It goes like this. It gives you a little more kind of coverage there, a little more protection from excess light. Next up, we have a Nike. This is a Mercurial 6.0. There is also an 8.0. That has to do with the frame curvature, the lens curvature. The 6.0 is the flatter version. So avoid the 8.0 because that's not gonna work well. This has some grip, embedded grip on the ends of the temples as well as on the nose piece. Good frame. I like that frame a lot. Next up is the Nike Premier. Similar to the Mercurial, it's a little more of a lightweight design. I think uh, in the in the hand, it feels a lot lighter weight, maybe feels a little less durable. Still definitely a good durable frame, but if you want extra durability, I go back to that Mercurial 6.0. But this is still a great frame. Again, flat, super lightweight, like I said. Grip in the temples, grip in the nose, good option for you. Last but not least, we have a Canaan. This is the Silverado. This is a really cool frame. A good lifestyle piece for sure. I'd say good for a word that we may have, have coined, I don't know, or a term, uh, athleisure. Good for uh, your kind of everyday sporting, you're on the boat, you're hiking, whatever, this is gonna be good for you. Good flat frame, no grip on the temples, but grip on the nose. Okay, that was a long list. I think we covered it pretty well. Again, if you have any questions, anything I didn't cover, comment down below or call us. We're happy to help you. We would love to help you actually. So uh, check us out and we'll see you out there. Thanks for watching.